you to upload that directly to us through your computer, which will assist. Um, we'd like you to leave your name when you do that. You don't have to. Um, certainly, if you're a witness, we'd love to be able to talk to you as well. So, lots of work to do yet. This incident has uh, got inter international attention. Uh, do you think this is going to leave a mark on the city of Toronto? But honestly, I mean, it will leave a blemish for a time, but I like to think it's one of those things that can be repaired and we can reconstruct. And uh, I, through our public information people, I've had the opportunity to look at a lot of video, uh, rather a lot of media and newspaper articles from international all across North America and Europe. And, and I think in each and every one of them, they talked about Toronto having such a remarkable record of public safety and being one of the safest cities in North America for sure. So I think that uh, that still exists, and it's up to us to continue to recognize that this, you know, was, although not to minimize how horrific it was in a public space, it, it's a it's a one-off kind of a thing for that magnitude. It's still very tragic, and we'll continue to do what we can to, in prevention with our community partners to, to try and minimize these from occurring. Thank you very much, Acting Deputy Chief, for joining us this afternoon. Uh, so again, uh, Toronto Police are really looking for anyone who might have any more information to come forward. Also, a lot of people had to leave the Eaton Centre immediately, leaving some belongings behind. Uh, and a lot of people have contacted police how they can get those belongings back. Uh, there are going to be uh, officers who are dealing with this situation between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. at 51 Division. So if you were in the rush to get out of Eaton, the Eaton Centre and had to leave behind, we know some people left behind phones, strollers, things. They just had to drop as they rushed out of the Eaton Center. Those have been recovered. They are currently with Toronto Police. You'll need your photo ID and uh, to uh, go and claim your belongings, but that can be done at 51 Division. Kyle.